Hi, I'm Mike Marin, and in this video, we'll talk about setting up your working directory. Working directories are useful for keeping your work organized. A working directory is one spot, say a folder that you've created, for saving all of your work, such as code you've written, the current workspace, any plots or summaries produced, and so on. All will be saved to the current working directory. It's a good idea to create a different working directory for each project that you work on. I've already gone ahead and created a folder named Project 1 and saved it on my desktop. We'll set this up to be the current working directory. I've also gone ahead and read in the LungCap data that we've been working with in this series of videos. To find out what the current working directory is, you can use the get wd command. Right now, we can see that the current working directory is the main folder in my user account. We can set the working directory in a few different ways. First, we can use the setwd command in R. To use this command, we must specify the path to the folder we would like to set as our working directory. I've already found the path to this folder project one and copied it, so I'll go ahead and paste it in here. It's worth noting we don't need to specify the full path to this folder project one. We can make use of the tilde command to let R know we would like the path up until the desktop and then to project one. I'll now show you a little tip that may become useful in the future for you. We can create this object project WD for working directory and specify the path to the working directory or this folder project one we'd like to save in. We can then go ahead and set our working directory using this object project WD. At the moment, doing this may seem pointless to you, but as we get better with R and coding, we'll be able to see the use of doing something like this. We may also use the menus in R to set the working directory. To do so, we can go use the session menu. Under here, we can see this set working directory and choose working directory. This will bring us to a menu where we can select the project one folder. It's worth noting that in previous versions of RStudio, the set working directory could be found under the tools menu, not under this session menu. A pro of using the menu approach to setting the working directory is that it can be easier if you're not as comfortable writing code or working with R just yet. A pro of using code to set the working directory is that in the future, if you are writing a script of code and working with this, we'll find that it'll be much easier to have all this done in code rather than having to use our hands and click on menu item. In a later video in this series, I'll show you how you can change the default working directory permanently using RStudio preferences. Now, it's a good idea to check the current working directory and make sure we did this correctly. So let's check what the current working directory is, and we can see it's now this folder project one. Okay, so now's the part where we'd probably do some work. Let's suppose we wanted to create some object mean age, and we'll save in this the mean age. We also may have created a few other objects in our work. Let's say some vector x, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, some other object y, which takes on a value of 14, and an object z, which is a summary of the data. You'll also notice I used the equal sign here to assign the summary to the object z, just as a reminder that we can use the equal sign or the arrow. Now, suppose that we're done working for the day and we'd like to save our progress. Again, we can do this using code or using the menus. We can save our current workspace image using the save.image command. In here, we can specify what we would like to save the file as. I'll save it under the name first project and we should add the extension .rdata. This will let R know that this is a workspace image file. It's also worth mentioning that without specifying a path of where this file should be saved, it will be saved in the current working directory. We can also use the menus in RStudio to save the workspace image. To do so, 
we can go under the session menu, save workspace as. Again, just a previous note on earlier versions of RStudio, the save workspace could be found under a workspace menu. You'll see the new version of RStudio no longer has workspace as a menu item. It's also worth noting that upon quitting R, you should be prompted as to whether or not you'd like to save the current workspace image. Now, let's go ahead and clear the workspace and quit R. Recall that we can remove all items from the current workspace using the following command. Or, we can also use the menus and click on Session and Clear Workspace. We can quit our studio by going here and choosing Quit, or using commands we can type Q and open and close brackets. You'll see here that we're prompted as to whether or not we'd like to save the workspace image. I'm going to click no as we've already gone ahead and saved this. Okay, suppose it's the next time you're going to work on this project. As you can see, I've gone ahead and launched RStudio and we can see that there's nothing in the current working directory. We can check this using commands or by looking at the workspace in our studio. Now we'd like to load the workspace for project one from where we left off last time. Upon starting our new session, we should go ahead and set the working directory. We can do this as outlined earlier using code or menus. I'm going to go ahead and do it using code here. We'd like to set our working directory running up to the desktop and then the folder project one. We can check to make sure we've done this correctly and we can see our current working directory. We can then go ahead and load the previous workspace image using the load command and here specifically we would like to load this file firstproject.rdata. You'll notice we haven't specified the path to this file as this file is saved in the current working directory. We can now see we've loaded the previous workspace image. We can also load the workspace image using the file.choose command that we've learned earlier. Doing this will allow you to select the file from a menu. I'm going to cancel this option as we've already loaded the workspace. We can also use the menus in RStudio. Again, we can find this under the session menu and load workspace. It's also worth noting again here that in previous versions of RStudio, you could load the workspace from a workspace menu item. The workspace menu item has now been replaced by this session menu. In the next video in this series, we'll talk about writing and using scripts of code and the benefit of these. Thanks for watching this video and make sure to check out my other instructional videos.